千里之行，始于足下。A journey of a thousand miles begins beneath the feet. We now gather in the Tao to travel the journey together. Welcome to Tao Talks with Derek Lin, where we take a deep dive into the Tao Te Ching by Lao Tzu. As always, I want to extend my welcome to you. Thank you for joining us. I would like to invite you to center your thoughts and direct your attention to this moment in time, to the here and now, to be fully present and mindfully aware, as we are ready ourselves for this sacred process in the Tao with one another. Let's talk about how the ancient Chinese sages thought about mythology. So here we're talking about the predecessor of the gods, and that corresponds to the final line of this chapter. In ancient Chinese cosmology, the envisioning was about this state that they called Wu Ji. It is formless, it is limitless, infinite. It's the infinite field of limitless potentiality, the primordial state prior to existence, Wu Ji. And Wu Ji literally means without, without boundaries. And typically it is uh, depicted as a simple circle. The circle is the symbol for Wu Ji, even though Wu Ji literally means without boundaries, and one could you know, look to the circumference of the circle as a boundary of sorts. Just keep in mind that it's meant to be symbolic. So from Wu Ji, it gave rise to Tai Ji. Tai means supreme or ultimate. Ji, same meaning boundary or extent. The ultimate extent is the supreme and ultimate initial state of existence. It's depicted in a swirling symbol, meaning that this is where things started to happen. This is when the idea of movement and motion and change began. So change actually was the predecessor of the next state. Tai Ji, I want to make sure everybody understands that state is not yet the yin and yang. Yin and yang comes after this initial state of existence. The movement and motion and change that I spoke of is polarizing and differentiating so that the differences of the two, of the complementary dualities, eventually manifested and depicted using the symbol of yin and yang. So far, everything is really abstract. This is not talking about stars or galaxies or the universe at all. This is talking about just the idea of existence and reality. So you see yin and yang there differentiating polarity as they polarize more further, separating into the two halves of complementary duality, we end up with the yin and yang. Then, as uh, expressed in the Tao Te Ching, yin and yang, the complementary dualities, interacted with one another in this eternal dance revolving around one another, exchanging energy with one another, so that yin contains yang and vice versa. And they gave rise to the 10,000 things or the myriad things, which means everything that exists, 
coming from the interaction of yin and yang. So what we know about of this universe, as I mentioned, the galaxies, the stars, the worlds, our world, the earth itself, living things inhabiting our world, all came about from those interactions and from the myriad things human beings came to be among them were part of the myriad of things we developed we evolved humanity began to build societies we had culture stories words language as i mentioned and that gave rise to mythology hence the heavenly emperor Tian Di, the foremost deity leading the pantheon of gods. So looking at this particular diagram, you can see how the ancients thought about it. Now let me ask everyone the following question. In all of this, in this slide right here, where is the Tao in this visualization? There may be, for some, a temptation to point to the yin and yang symbol and say, there's the Tao. In the West, oftentimes, that is a representation for the Tao. But the Tao isn't just in the yin and yang symbol. It is actually not any single one of the states depicted in this progression, it is the progression itself. So in other words, it isn't any one state of being, it's all of them. Everything depicted here is the Tao. The Tao is the totality. The Tao is not even just the totality of the different states, but the progression, the change, the transformation among them. So it's not the stops along the way of a journey, but the way of the journey, the progression, the movement of the journey, because it is the way of the journey to go through all this transformation, the changes, the stops along the way, the milestones, that's why it is the way or the Tao. Our meeting has come to an end, but the journey continues on. Until next time, may the Tao fill you with peace and happiness.